Kobayashi Iza was a Japanese poet and labeled his priest of the Judo Shinsu. He is known for his haiku poems and journals. He is better known as simply Iza, a pen name meaning cup of tea. He is regarded as one of the four haiku masters in Japan along with Basho, Busun, and Shiki, the great four. Quick facts about Isa. He was born on June 15, 1763 in Kashiwabara, Japan and died on January 5, 1828 at aged 64 in Kashiwabara, Japan. As a boy, Isa found relations with his stepmother so difficult that in 1777, he was sent by his father to Edo where he studied Hakai under the poet Nerkuwan Chikua. He took the pen name Isa in 1793 and traveled extensively through southwestern Japan, afterward publishing his first collection of verses. An inheritance feud erupted between Isa and his stepmother upon the death of his father in 1801. This was not concluded until 1813, after which he settled in his native town and married for the first time. Four children died in infancy and his wife died in childbirth. A second marriage was unsuccessful and Isa died before his third wife gave birth to a girl who survived. Out of a life marked by tragic adversity, Isa created poetry of sentimental simplicity and his empathy, even with flies and other insects, endeared him to the Japanese people. In his poetry, everyday subjects are treated with ordinary language but take on a lyrical quality through his sharp critical eye and sympathetic tone. He produced thousands of hakai, as well as writing renga and other poetic forms. His other important works are Chichi no Chuwen Nikki and Orago Haro. Isa is lonely because no one cares and he is defiant and independent, rejecting conventional notions of what his life means, or rejecting any say that everyone or anyone could have regarding his behavior. However, Isa slightly demonstrates that napping half a day actually attempts to reconcile our sleeping and waking hours. He was not punished for existing for once. He was not forced to support a system which tells him that what everything means. Beliefs Transforming the personal into art, he did not hesitate to tell the story of his life in his haiku. Like he get the nap half of the day for the reason that he kept on traveling and working and he needed some rest for more travels and works. Her by doing so, made him not guilty for no one can disturb him because no one is there to care with him. Hardship of the author Sorrow due to his ungrateful life full of sadness and misery in which he left home to study Haiko in Edo at a young age. He spent years traveling and working until returning to Kashiwabara in the early 1810. Furthermore, Isa's father was a farmer. His mother died when he was young and he was raised by his grandmother. His father remarried and Isa did not get along well with his stepmother or stepbrother. Eventually, becoming involved in disputes over his father's property and that's when his sorrow started. Theme Redemption He does everything for the success of his life. He takes all the sorrows come in his life. But regaining better is his aim. Doing everything hardly for the exchange of a better life. Aha! Uh -huh. Isa is a Japanese haiku poet 
whose works in simple, unadorned language captured the spiritual loneliness of the common man, and his works reflect on his life, which is full of art that have sincere meanings. Sorrow, loneliness, and joy amid sadness are the tone of his poems, which he connected it through his tough experiences in this world. What a great Japanese poet Isa is, that remains forever in our hearts.